It is your girl Brittany Jade and today we are going to be doing a grocery haul and in this grocery haul I'm going to be highlighting everything that I'm going to be eating this week because we are going into the second week of 75 hard so let's go ahead and get on into today's video okay so I'm gonna go ahead and start over here with the meats that we got um, again this grocery haul is going to have staples not just for me but for my entire family because i do have to still cook them regular food um so my husband likes this honey ham for his sandwiches for work so i did pick up a family pack of that and then for me i got these um petite sirloin steak now my trainer did want me to get grass-fed beef but at the grocery store i went to they only had like one little tiny steak for like 15 dollars so I am hoping to find some better quality meat here soon. It just was really expensive, which, you know, eating healthier is more expensive. I understand that. So it's just something that I couldn't fit into the budget this week, but I did pick up these sirloins and there is nice four steaks here and I'm only going to be eating about four ounces at a time. So this should last me all of week. And then on the weekends, I do get salmon foils for dinner. So I picked up this Norwegian Atlantic salmon. I like these because they're not fresh. Um, they're like flash frozen. So I don't have to worry about them not being fresh because it's Sunday night right now. And I'm not going to be able to eat them until next weekend. But I do my grocery shopping on Sunday. So it's good because I don't have to like let salmon sit in the fridge all week until I can cook it. So I like that about these. This is the Waterfront Bistro. I just went to my local Safeway. And then I am allowed to have some multigrain crackers, some whole wheat crackers on the weekends with hummus. So I picked up this Breton and this grains first. This is both by the brand Dare. My kids really like these crackers too. So if I give them crackers during the week, I will like to give them some of this. Usually I'll put like some cream cheese on the crackers or something and they really, really like that as like a snack. So these are good for me and for the kids. Um, this is a staple and a must have. It is the coffee with two time caffeine Keurig pods. It got this in a blonde roast. They do have medium roast and dark roast in these, but this is a little bit expensive for this one container of 10 pods. It was $11, but you guys, I promise you the two times caffeine is so worth it. This stuff is so good. It really just peps me up and I absolutely love the taste of the blonde roast. So, so good. Definitely worth it if you are a busy, tired mom like myself. Hello, holler in the comments. If you are, you guys need this in your life. Um, I did pick up some Quaker oats. Now, I usually like the old-fashioned oats, but my plan does call for quick oats for breakfast. Uh, so I did pick up just a tiny container of this quick one-minute oats for breakfast this week because I'm not sure if my plan is going to change next week. But for now, I will just go ahead and have these quick one-minute oats on hand. And then I got a bag of quinoa because my lunch does call for quinoa this week. If you guys want me to show you like my meal prep for the week please let me know in the comments down below i would love to film that for you guys just like a quick meal prep i'm going to be eating the same thing every week uh like every day of the week so i'm trying that out and i would love to film that for you guys so let me know if that's something you might be interested in um and then i did pick up some of these ben's ready rice this is the butter garlic and the spanish style and this is for taylor and the kids because they're going to be having enchiladas one night and then they're going to be having a chicken dish another night so i just got that for their meals and then moving on to the produce, I got a bunch of bananas because I am going to be freezing. I got some that are a little bit more ripe, so I'm going to be freezing those. And then this is for like the kids and Taylor during the week. I might have to pick up more bananas. We always run out of bananas, but I never quite know the perfect amount to get because bananas in this house, they either all get eaten up or they go terribly bad and then I have to freeze them. Um, and then I picked up these two containers, one pineapple and one cantaloupe. This is for Taylor and the kids. He absolutely loves this he'll probably kill this all within like a day honestly and i really like the cantaloupe for the kids for breakfast and stuff like that 
I got sharp cheddar cheese um, slices. Again, this is for Taylor's sandwiches for work. So um, he likes sharp cheddar. I do too when I can have dairy. Uh, and then I did get some organic strawberries and I don't know guys. Okay, so something really weird has been happening with the strawberries that I've been getting recently, especially if they're organic. Like the little, um, what is it? The little seeds in the strawberries are so, hold on. Yeah, the little seeds in the strawberries are so pronounced. Let me see if I can get this closer. They're so pronounced and like it just has like a funny texture when I eat them. I don't know. Something weird about the berries right now. Um, but nonetheless, TJ really loves strawberries. He'll eat strawberries in between meals as snacks while he's waiting on his food because the boy does not like waiting for food. So he'll always snack on strawberries. And then moving back here, I got a package of these rocket apples. My kids really, really love these rocket apples. They're like the perfect size for them to hold in their hands. And I feel like you get like a pretty good amount for the price. It's $7.99 for this entire container. So we like those. They did not have Honeycrisp apples at the store this week, which made me really, really sad because Honeycrisp apples are me and Taylor's favorite. But that's okay because I'm not allowed to actually have any apples this week on my plan. Um, I picked up this container of grape tomatoes. These are really, really tiny, which I like because I can cut them into thirds for TJ. He loves snacking on tomatoes. I got these steaming vegetables because one of my lunches does call for mixed veggies. So I just picked this up. It's, It was mostly just for convenience and because it was on sale for $5.99. Or I, I mean, sorry, it was on sale for $5 and it's normally $5.99 and... I saw it and I thought, okay, this would be great. I don't have to worry about cutting up veggies when I do my meal prep. I can just like cook this all at once and just throw it in my meal prep containers. Um, another snack that I'm allowed to have this week is shelled edamame. So I did pick this up. This was in the freezer section. So I might just like prepare this, I don't know, in like the microwave or my air fryer or something. Um, but I get half a cup at a time every afternoon. So I'm excited for that. And then I got three pears. This is for Taylor and the kids. Taylor really likes pears. Um, and the kids like them as well. So they're a good snack for their lunches and stuff. I got a bunch of broccoli. Um, yeah, a bunch of broccoli. And I got some romaine hearts for salads for these guys this week. And I also picked up some baby carrots. The kids really like baby carrots with their lunches and stuff like that. So I do give them baby carrots and they like that. Um, I also picked the kids up some stony filled yogurt. This is just their favorites. And I've noticed that the pouches are really great because I can just clip them, give them to both kids and not have to worry about so much mess. I got some of this um, organic red enchilada sauce. This is the organics brand uh, because the kids and Taylor are going to be having enchiladas one day this week. I'm going to be preparing that while I eat just my steak, but that's okay. Um, this is for me, guys. This is a game changer. It's Walden Farms. This is an absolute game changer. I talked about this before. I picked up the pancake syrup last time. I got the maple walnut syrup this time just to try it out. Uh, I absolutely love this stuff. It's zero calorie everything. So um, low calorie, no sugar, no carbs, no nothing basically. It's so good. They've got this in like Chipotle Ranch, Ranch, balsamic vinaigrettes, different salad dressings. Like check this out, you guys. Um, it's going to be in this specifically, the syrup is going to be where your syrups are in your grocery store. And then they also have ketchup, which would be where the rest of your ketchups are. And then the salad dressings where your salad dressings are. Walden Farms, amazing brand. I picked up some heavy whipping cream because I'm going to be making a pasta for my lunches this week. And then I did get... Uh, some Simply Jif. This is the low sodium because I am allowed to have peanut butter this week, but just no salt added. So this is a lower sodium option and I am obsessed with Jif, guys. I just, I can't get over the taste. Like, I love Jif. I am definitely a Jiffy girl. So I just picked that up for myself. And then I am allowed to have Greek yogurt this week as one of my snacks. This is the Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. Um, and I did pick up some different flavors. So, 
So I got a peach flavor in the Dannon Light and Fit. These are 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. I got uh, the strawberry flavor. I got, what else did I get? Toasted coconut and vanilla. I got creme brulee. I'm really excited about the creme brulee. This looked really, really good and I'm excited to try that because I usually have a sweet tooth around the time I'm allowed to have this. I got three different vanillas because I am a plain Jane at heart and you can never go wrong with just some plain vanilla Greek yogurt. I picked up one of these uh, strawberry cheesecake flavors and mostly because I was just told I could have different flavors so I wanted to kind of try it out and see what I thought. Um, I wouldn't typically choose something like this uh, but we'll see what it tastes like and hopefully it's good. And then I did pick up two of the key lime because I absolutely love this stuff. Um, so yeah, that is everything that I got in my grocery haul. Okay, you guys, so that is everything for this week's grocery haul. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from me. I do a ton of health, wellness, mommy, postpartum fitness lifestyle content here on my channel. So definitely, if that's something that's interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow along in my journey. And right now, I am heavily documenting my postpartum snapback journey, guys. Even though I have a 17-month-old, this year, one of my resolutions was to get into the best shape of my life. So I am taking avenues and taking direction and taking training to uh, get to that level. So if that's something that you guys are interested in and you kind of want to see where I'm going with this, I'm going to be having a weekly video up every Wednesday on my channel that you don't want to miss. I'll be talking about my journey with 75 hard, how my body's changing, what I'm eating and things like that. So make sure that you guys are subscribed so you don't miss that video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.